Hi guys, my name is Brittany and you're watching my channel, The Bean and the Rose. Today I've got a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. And this is a bit of a big haul, but I'm going to try and just power through this really quick because I don't want another long video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start first with the food items I found. Now, I am going to have a Shop With Me video. It's going to be separate this time because there are so many new things out that it would have been forever long. So I'm going to show you my haul first and then um, I will post the Shop With Me to show you everything else that was there um, tomorrow. So for now, I'll show you what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up are these raisins. My daughter had been asking me for these, and these are natural um, seedless raisins. Um, it comes in six, perfect snack size, and um, I prefer to get natural anytime I can, or organic. The next thing I picked up is the Annie's Organic Tomato Soup. Now, I've ha actually hauled these before. Um, and we tried this one last night, or my husband did, and he really, really liked it. And it's actually really, really good if you just add a little bit of cream into it, just to make it more creamy. So I really recommend these. These are yummy and a decent price for a dollar. The next thing I found was Fiddle Faddle. Now, this is a brand name product. They had this flavor and another flavor. They had like a caramel, or um, toffee. They had a toffee one, um, but I got this for my husband, so this is caramel with peanuts, caramel popcorn with peanuts, and so I picked up this, and this is a decent size snack box, so I was pretty excited to see that, and then these are already open because my kids wanted to have some, um, but I got their um, Bud's Best Cookies. And they are bite-sized. They're kind of like an a famous Amos cookie. But this one here has like M&M chocolate chip. And then the other one that they got was Pecan Chocolate Chip Supreme. So I picked up both of those for them. And of course, the Gatorade. Always have to have a Gatorade when we're there. So this is the one they picked up this time. I believe that's all the food items, so I'm going to go into the um, like household items that I picked up. So the first thing was, they have a lot of these in stock, and these are a great price because even at the grocery store or anything, they're usually around 2 to $3 for one, so it's at least half off to get it at the Dollar Tree. And then I actually picked up here, I'll show you this because this will help. So they have these rugs again. So I got the one that says home on it. And it's kind of like a dark gray, black kind of mixture. And um, they have a nice back on them, but this still slips on my tile. So I actually picked up some of this um, non-slip shelf liner. And I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue this to the bottom of it to keep it from... Sorry, had my hair. Uh, to keep it from sliding around. So just an FYI, if you've got tile in your home, this is still going to slip. Even though it looks nice on the back and it's heavier, um, it still does slip. So I picked up one of these. If you already have some, then you are ready to go and you don't have to worry about that. The next thing that I picked up is they have a lot of new baby stuff, oddly enough. Um, and I don't have any babies anymore, but they have like the reusable bibs now and everything so you can just clean them and you know reuse them instead of um, the cloth ones having to wash them in the in the uh, in the washing machine but I actually saw this and this is pretty cool so it's a bottle brush so it has the small one up at the top and then the bigger one and this is really good for cleaning like glass jars too that have a small opening um, because it can actually get in there and I always worry with glass about trying to fit something in there with too much air and cracking the glass. So I thought this would work really well for that. And let's see, the next, the next couple things I have. So I bought more of this. This has wound up being everywhere now. So I was panicking, I had missed it and now it is in like all the stores, like a whole shelf of it. So I picked up two more of these because 
you just can't go wrong when you're saving so much money. So it's like 10 to $15 to get these at the regular stores and it is only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up. The next thing I got is not for me, it's for a friend's um, she's got a couple of little boys that really like superheroes and I saw this there and I thought it was so cute and so I had to pick this up and I'll probably wind up sending it out to her so Esther if you're watching I got this for your boys for their room so I will be mailing that out to you soon and then the next thing I got was the white sign so this one here says dream on it they had relax and wine o'clock um this is the one i liked the most but even then i'm kind of considering taking the lettering off and doing something else with this so if i wind up doing that i will definitely record a diy with it so that you guys can see it too and then i'm going to move on to personal care so they had a ton of new personal care items i mean brand name Dove, Dial, Irish Spring, you name it, they had stuff there, and it was only a dollar. I was um, so excited. So I decided to actually try this for my husband. I don't use anything in my hair, um, so I just, I didn't need to test it out, but for my husband, it's Max Control all day, and he uses a lot of hairspray, and I'm not sure how much he has left right now, so I decided to pick this up just to see how he likes it, because dollar is a lot less than the hairspray I get him right now. The next things I got were this Bard Dove Soap, and this is Cool Moisture, and it smells very cucumbery, but still like the Dove Soap, so it's like Dove Soap plus a little cucumber smell. Really, really nice fragrance on that one. And then I got this one here. So, this one has a little bit more of the soap smell. It's really, really nice, though. They all smell really good. My whole bag smelled really, really good. And then I found Jergens Extra Moisture Hand Wash cleans and moisturizes. So my, I'll show you guys, <laughs> my knuckles have been getting really, really dry recently, like really, really bad. And so I thought I'd put this in my bathroom um, just so that when I'm washing my hands, I'm not drying my hands out so much because they are just getting really, really dry. And then um, I'll probably put another one up by the sink so when I'm done washing dishes, I can use this just to try and keep my hands from drying out so much. Either that or I need to start using gloves more when I wash my dishes because, yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? You have to wash dishes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the cleaning stuff now. So I picked up a couple of these to test them out, and I will let you guys know how they work. But these are Tidy Bowl, and so all you do is um, clip them on the inside of your water tank, and it creates the blue water and it cleans every flush. And I think this says, yeah, it's an in-between toilet bowl cleaner. I thought it told you how many days on here. Maybe not. So I'm not sure how long this will last, but I wanna see if it actually helps um, in between scrubbing the toilet because I feel like it's like dirty, like noticeably dirty within the week. And so I can't just do it once a week. I have to do it more than once a week. So I thought maybe this might help. So I will let you guys know if they work. I also picked up this LA's Totally Awesome Laundry Booster with Stain Lifter. And this is a really big container. So I hope it works really well because I would love something that would help lift stains. My kids get stuff all over their clothes all the time and I hate having to like stain spray each one because sometimes I forget and then I wash it and stain's still on there. Uh, the next one I got here is LA's Totally Awesome Carpet Spot and Stain Remover and um, we have a rug that gets a lot of traffic and it gets really dirty so I actually want to try and use this and kind of almost use it like a shampoo into my rug to see if it will help lift up some of that dirt and stains that are in it. And we'll see if it works. I'm going to test out a few cleaning products for you guys. So if it works, I will let you know. 
And then I got this one also. It's LA's Totally Awesome. Again, it's the bonus size, 50% more. It's oxygen orange, all-purpose degreaser and spot remover. So my oven, the stovetop area gets so greasy and it gets all over like the whole thing all the time. I cook too many greasy foods apparently. And I just feel like my regular cleaners just aren't good enough. So I thought I would try a degreaser to see how it works. And I will let you guys know how it works um, on my oven. So that was the last cleaning product. The next thing I'll go, oh, this is kind of personal care. They have a bunch of these really cute little loofahs that have like animals on them. Um, but I actually picked this up for my niece for her birthday. It's not until the beginning of August, but I've been collecting things for her and she loves pandas. So I saw this and I picked it up for her. Um, I also noticed that they're getting more of these phone stands back in stock. So this one says, every now and then I fall apart and it has a taco on there. And I love tacos. Like, love tacos. They have a donut one and something else that I can't remember right now. Oh, fr french fries. But I don't really care that much about donuts or french fries. I could eat tacos all day, every day. So I <laughs> picked up the taco one. And I figured I would, it would help me in the kitchen when I'm trying to read recipes off my phone. So I picked up just one of those. Uh, let's see. So the next thing I got is our florals. And so I picked up this one, and I really like the detail. It's a hydrangea. So um, this is the tag here. That's what it says. Obviously, hydrangeas don't come in this color. These are not natural colors. But they're for fall. They're part of the fall flowers. And I really liked this burlap touch. It's not, I don't think it's exactly burlap. It's kind of like a thicker weave, like more like potato sack like. Um, but anyway, it's, um, it's really, really cute. I like the mixture in this one. So I picked up that and you get quite a bit. Like this is a pretty full little bunch here. And then I got this one. Now this one is really, really cute. And I didn't see it the first roll out um, of fall flowers. But this one here has got a lot of these little like twigs that stick out and I think it adds a really nice touch and then the the stems are darker and so they kind of look more realistic this way I feel like. So when I saw these I had to get them and the cream color is running out fast but they do have a really pretty like cranberry color, a burnt orange and a yellow. They had like kind of more of a yellow color. And they were all really nice, but I just wanted the cream color. I like the clean, like the cleaner colors. I don't like too many. I would have probably gotten the red if I had to choose another one. I really liked the red one. However, I don't have any red in my house. And even with fall and Christmas coming up, I'm not so sure that it would just mesh too well in my house. But I may go back and get the red one. I'm not sure. The next thing I picked up are the happy birthday candles in gold. My daughter's got a birthday coming up in a couple, and well, in like a month. Um, and she's having an Elena of Avalor party, and I thought the gold would go really well with that. So I picked those up for her cake. Um, I picked up a couple of birthday cards. One is for my grandmother, um, and they're just, they're really nice. They're pretty... I love the cards. Like, you get a great deal on cards at the Dollar Tree. And then this one was for my dad. But they're just, they're very nice. And for how much that cards cost, it's ridiculous. I would never buy my cards anywhere else. I always get them at the Dollar Tree. The next thing I found was this workout DVD. And it's actually a two DVD set. And my sister-in-law actually used to, to use his system a long time ago. Um... And she really liked it when she did it. So right now I'm doing something else. So this is not something I would do right away. But I saw it there and I thought I might give it a chance. Because I like fighting style um, workouts. I think they really build your core even more than regular workouts. So I have one already. A fighting style one. But I thought maybe I would try this one as well. Mix it up a little bit. See which one I like. Or you know, go back and forth so I don't get too much muscle memory. And then the last things that I have are kind of back to school items. And there were a lot. Like I said, they have so much new <laughs> dropping things. They have so much new stuff out right now. 
Like, I could not show you guys my um, shop with me footage, but um, I will definitely put it on a separate video. I fell in love with this bag, though. Oh, my word. I, I love Disney anyway, but I just love Beauty and the Beast. Like, ever since I was little, I always thought Belle was, like, my character that I connected with the most. I was always reading and I love all the stained glass and of course the roses and I thought this bag was just too pretty not to get. So I went ahead and picked up this bag. The sides look like this. They have a little rose in there and kind of some gold um, like flowers and stuff like that. So I could not leave this there. I had to get it. The next thing that I picked up was this notebook. This is the one that I preferred. They have three other designs, I believe, but this is the only one I really cared for. Um, this is going to be my my own personal notebook, So, but if you are looking for back to school, it has this in the front of it. So, very, very neat. Um, this one here says it has 100 sheets, and they are... Oh, it doesn't say. I'm not sure if it's college ruled or wide ruled. I think it's wide ruled. It kind of looks wide ruled to me. But anyway, so I picked up one of those. The next two things I picked up are test prep workbooks in kindergarten and first grade. I got these for my oldest because we are homeschooling this year and I figured this will give me an idea of how well she's learning and how um, I guess where she's at, I kind of think she's through most of the kindergarten stuff, so I may try and see how she does with this, because it is more like standardized testing, where you've got, you know, you have to fill in your answers, so we'll see where she's at with that, but just in case, like, she goes through that one really fast, I also got the first grade one. I also got her another Breakfast Bites in second grade because she just finished the kindergarten one and she's redoing it because I had two books. I had Breakfast Starters also, or Morning Starters. And then after that she's going to go into first grade. And then I wanted to make sure I had something just in case she was ready for it. So I got the second grade one. I couldn't pass up this binder. It was too beautiful. I love all the colors and I love the roses on it. It's on all sides, but the love is just on the front. And this one here has a really nice, um, like it's not open or anything, so it should hold up pretty well. And then the inside is pink, and you do have your little pockets in here. So, had to get that one. And then they have been getting a ton of Westcott scissors. So we are always like, have a shortage of scissors in our house. So if you've watched my Walmart clearance video, you know that I had picked up some Westcott scissors that I would plan to keep for my stuff, but then they also had these. And now this one here says titanium bonded, left or right handed, seven inch straight handle. These are a little smaller. I think I might keep these more in the kitchen area. So I picked up those. And then this one here is more for sewing. So this one says light fabric, ribbon and thread. So this is a lighter scissor. It's not meant for heavy cutting, but I want to keep this with my sewing kit so I can have that and I don't use my sewing scissors for the small stuff like that. And then the very last thing I picked up was this for my kids. They have a ton of different characters, but of course my girls like the princesses, but they have so many in here. So you get 14 posters to color. So this is a way better deal than going and getting the one poster or even the two poster sets because you get 16 in here and you get the markers. And they even have a couple of them that are really glittery and shimmery and then they have the regular felt um, black and white ones in the back. And then they have a couple just regular coloring pages. But you, you get a lot in here and they had, I want to say, like Cars and some Avengers maybe. So be on the lookout for this for your kids. It'll keep them busy for a few days. My kids really, really like those. But that is everything I picked up. Sorry if it was a little long. I was really trying to make it quick, but I had a lot of stuff to show you guys. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 
look out for my shop with me video and if you liked this video or you like Dollar Tree hauls and shop with me give me a thumbs up please like and subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video and don't forget to comment what you guys are looking for or what you guys have found that I have not yet I'm still searching for the Rubbermaid containers I haven't found those yet and I still have not found the keys, the missing items, and the key rings and everything. So, and we might not get them at my, in Austin. I don't know. I've looked at multiple Dollar Trees, can't find them. So, I'm not giving up, but I'm not hunting everywhere for them anymore. They just might not be here. So, uh, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks.